What do we, what are we not understanding about ch- uh, toddlers and preschoolers? Why are they so confounding to us? I think some of it is that we worry as parents that there's a linear path to development. So if my child right now wants all of something and nothing is enough for them, uh, we feel like they're greedy and that they're going to always be that way as opposed to right now, your three-year-old sees something they want and they want all of it because that's where they are in life. I have needs. I want my needs filled. And as we fill them in some reasonable way, or we put up a reasonable limit, like I wish you could have more cookies. That's enough. And we're going to put them away. There'll be more tomorrow or later. They start slowly, gradually to get more reasonable because we're reasonable. But we see their behaviors as linear. I think we panic. Um, but I think if we're truthful with ourselves, there's so many behaviors that toddlers show us that we would kind of like to do sometimes too. <laughs> I, mean, I ask my college students this. I teach a course in early development. These are Barnard College and Columbia College students. You know, fantastic students. Like, if you were in a toddler mind right now, what would you love to do? You know, some of them are like, I'd like to tap dance all the way down Broadway, 42nd Street, you know. Others are like, I'd like to just throw my gum wrapper and just throw it and not care. Because there's a sort of a freeness to toddlers as well, because they're just figuring out the world. So it's like me, me, who am I? What can I do? You know, uh, I was talking to somebody here on the podcast, and they mentioned the idea of like thinking about kids like sort of three and under as developmentally as still infants and to me that really like made a lot of sense to me where I know that when my daughters were three and under I wasn't thinking of them as infants and I was frustrated with them because I was thinking that they're so big and they should be able to do x and they should be able to do y and they you know they should be able to listen and and all these different things but the idea of thinking of them as kind of mentally as like more like infants really uh for me was helpful in kind of having more acceptance of this phase i guess this part of Mm -hmm. life yeah i mean when you think about it a three-year-old the day they turn three has only been in this world for 36 months you think back like what you were doing 36 months ago, right? It's like, it's so little time. And I think what happens is, as soon as our children get some verbal ability, it doesn't even have to be a lot, but we're relieved, oh, finally, we can communicate. And then if you have a particularly verbal child, like a- That's what I had, a very precociously verbal daughter who could yeah. speak in full paragraphs at two. And then we think that that maps on to everything else, and it doesn't. I'm always saying to parents, verbal can be up here. Emotional is right where it should be, because the brain can't be faster than it's supposed to be emotionally. And so we have a long, long, long childhood. We know now that the prefrontal cortex, so everything up here that's going to allow a child to you know, control their impulses, handle their emotions, but also do things like sequence, right? First, I put my socks on, then I put my shoes on, you know, the schedule, what's next, all of those pieces are developing well into their 20s. And I feel like when that data started to come out now about 15 or more years ago, but it's still new, and, you know, sort of in a slow field of gathering science, it was like, yeah, of course. So now go backwards. If if college students or young adults are just finishing that part of their brain development, not that it's not going to adjust over time, but go backwards, then your three-year-old or even your five-year-old is very, very new in this world. They might be verbal, but they're still about me. And that's what's so challenging for parents. I'm always saying, as you're pointing out, they're babies. Like when parents are very frustrated, she should know better. He doesn't do this. I say, I know, but he's more baby than big. And that's the piece to remember. 